just another day with your happy American family. Or is it? Oh, no! Those evil Chinese commies are at it again. Those A-bombs are coming in fast, and this could be the end. Not so fast. Good old dad bought a space for the entire family at a vault. The vault from your friends at Vault Tech. Not only do we make the arms America fights communism with, we make the shelters that save lives. Now they can get on with their own lives, in peace. As the nuclear Armageddon happens, everywhere else. Your children will get the highest quality education America has to offer. New generations of people can be raised in the vault to start a new world. <laughs> Once the radiation goes down outside, of course. Warning. Vault 17 integrity compromised. Multiple intruders detected. Classification unknown. But we gotta go and hide. I think they're coming this way. C Come on! It's my Nuka Cola truck. Forget it, Becky. We gotta go now! War. War never changes. In the year 2281, 204 years after the Great Nuclear War of 2077, the New California Republic, with the assistance of a lone courier, achieved a decisive victory against the Legion in the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. In the days leading to that victory, the courier and other factions gave the NCR aid in the form of advanced technology from places such as the Big Empty and the Sierra Madre which resulted in a dramatic increase of military industry and production. Two days after the great battle ended at the dam, the NCR successfully annexed the Mojave Desert land and are currently hunting down any remaining legionaries on the run. Now, the NCR is cleaning up the Mojave wasteland and cease their expansion efforts to regain their strength. Order, democracy, and the rule of law at long last is growing in the Mojave. But will it last forever? Because of war. War never changes.
never once thought of settling down. But darling, the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew my rambling days were through. Made up my mind. Hello, Major. I'm Dr. Hudson of the Office of Science and Industry. Welcome to Searchlight Airport and Research Station. I was sent here by Dr. Hildren of the OSI to this lovely vacation spot. I'm the administrator of this facility. I'm Major Daniels of the 4th Brigade Delta Company. Let's cut to the chase, Doctor. You might tell me why General Oliver wanted me to break off from the Legionnaires to come to this little paradise he was? You mean that General Oliver didn't tell you? That figures. I know he wouldn't want to explain it to you over the radio. We discovered a secret enclave vault in the middle of this abandoned airport here. Enclave? You don't say. That's correct, Major. The OSI would love to see what kind of tech they can salvage from it. Well, let's get you settled in. The rest of your troops have already arrived. Hello, Mojave. It's your fantastic DJ, fantastic, filling in for Mr. New Vegas, who is out with the flu. Let's get to the news, shall we? The NCR is on its second day of victory of the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. There is now a major cleanup effort to hunt down and remove any legionaries that are still dug into Mojave. At the Becky, same time, where are President you? Kimball has issued an order oh, where is that girl? For the territorial expansion of the Republic. I wouldn't worry. She's probably a hadn't gone too far. She told me she lost her Nuka-Cola toy truck or something. And with that, I think she's really out hunting Martin mole rats again. You, so stay tuned. I missed that little more rat. Wait, where's my truck? I could have sworn I left it here an hour ago. Hmm, it was right here. Where'd it go? Becky, where are you? I can't believe it, little girl. Oh, she'll be back. No worries. Hey, did you hear that? I do love the smell of burning villages! Katrina Calva, we got these prisoners and we can bring them back to Arizona to serve as slaves. What? 
Are you near with serious? The NCR is chasing us down and you want to waste time dragging slaves along with us? You don't even have bomb collars for these morons! Well, we could cruise fine, sir. Oh boy! You really are stupid, aren't you? What was I just explaining to you, retards? Just shoot them and be done with it! Sir, look! What? Well, what are you jack off standing around for? Does everybody want her to give our position to the NCR? Kill her already, and let's get out of here! God! You guys didn't hear me say this, but I'd steal a ton of money so I could pay Kenturian Calvin to shut up. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I can track that little brat. She won't get very far. Let's go. My new Kukula truck! How'd it get here? Oh my god! Don't hurt me! Well, no. We are the one who forever. I had to hide here. Real mean men are chasing me and I lost my toy. Did you take it here? Yeah, me darling, me, I remember I got it, and I can't remember when. Alright, keep your eyes peeled. We kill the brat, then get out of here. Huh? Where'd he go? Come here, little girl, where are you? You saved my life. Thank you, mister. My name's Becky. Well, there was a girl my whole woman before I'm young, familiar, beloved, type of number down. 
Well, I don't think we met before. What's your name? Mean son of a bitch? That's your name? My son of a bitch. Oh. Could I call you Meanie for short? Well, we'll, we'll look at my Meanie. <laughs> Why are you living in a cave? What the hell is taking my legionaries so long to find one little girl? I can't believe it. Kaiser and the Legate both dead and the war is lost. Well, once I get back to Arizona, then I will become the next Kaiser and rule the East. Oh, yes. We had a super mutant kill our group. Need help? What the hell? What is that noise? I told Fred, don't say I'm so hard when we need him. I don't know. Can't tell me too long. We don't care for that. You burned my village and killed my mommy. The Legion did it. We're going back to him. I don't know how much we're going to be wrong with. I've been simply mean when I'm back with me and me. Thank you. Okay, Major, let's get down to brass tacks here. 48 hours ago, the Office of Science and Industry settled here at Searchlight Airport to establish a research station to see about cleaning up all that radiation from the town of Searchlight nearby. When we were starting renovations of the control tower in the main building, we discovered an entrance to a vault with Enclave markets on its door. An Enclave vault? What's so significant about that? We encountered a vault like this in the hub about six months ago, and it has some incredible technology in it. We sent scientists to look inside, but they never made it back out. We found out later on that the vault had a very tight defense network inside with robots and other automated defenses. I'm taking that the vault here would have the same traps and robots. Come with me. I'd like you to look at something. Oh my god, what is that thing? That, my friend, is a Thor. Short for Thermal Opposing Radiumizer. It can blast an armored vehicle in two. And what is that strange looking pistol? Another toy we got from the Enclave Hub Vault. The Enclave were experimenting with weapons of an extraterrestrial origin. Come again? You flip your lid, Doc? No, no, it's all documented. We even have photos of dead aliens that were stored in vats of formaldehyde. The vault's reactor was using some super advanced alien technology, but it was so damaged that we couldn't get the damn thing to work. That's why the OSI has an interest here, Major. And remember, this briefing is classified. As they say, what goes on in New Vegas stays in New Vegas. Two days ago, when we arrived here, our seismic sensors detected an underground structure below this building. 
It's much larger than the Enclave Vault we discovered back in the hub. What are those security cameras doing here? Are those yours? No sir, those cameras were here when we arrived. See? Here's another one on the ground. It fell off one of the structures, but it's still active. Any idea where those cameras are being viewed from? Yeah, we got a pretty good idea. The cables lead underground and we found something else. Over here. We started renovating this building and we found this huge vault door at the far end of a structure. Just like the one at the hub. Any idea why an enclave vault would be here? We won't know until we crack that egg. The other one was a science research station. But I don't know about this one. It's much bigger, like I said. How big is this underground vault? As far as my findings tell me, it goes into the mountain range. Have you been able to get inside the vault? No, not yet. We're still working out the bugs of the door controls. We got the wiring fixed on it, but they got one tough passcode to crack. But my people are working on it, and it should take another day or so. And this is where we come in, right? Yes, we don't know what we'll find in there in case there's something hostile. Once we get the vault open, we'll go in with the men to recon the place, and once you give the all clear, then SOSI scientists will do our work. You think there's some kind of alien technology in there or something? Possibly. Even if it's not alien technology, the Enclave had some extremely advanced toys. Based on the fact they were the last remnants of the federal government before the atomic war. Damn. Get some rest, Major. We got a big day tomorrow. I got some beer in the fridge if you want any. No thanks. I don't drink. More for me. So you said you're running from the NCR. 
Yes, me and I never went to the new Vatican. They began to drink to me as they came to buy and turn to buy me in the end of the hour and after me. All you told me is I am very much talking. That's why I talk like this. But I got lesser by I am the answer by the way why the microbiology is in the Bible. That's awful. But I'm glad someone rescued you. Where are we going anyway? Mm, well, my family I don't want to tell them about him, so uh think I'm going out of the land. Uh, that way. I'm getting thirsty and I need to find some food. Oh, look! I have one, Meanie. Hey, look at the top of the hill. More of them. I'm running ahead. Damn it, woman. What's your fucking problem? I told you to save that jet for tomorrow. Now we're almost out. I'll fucking hoover it if I want. <sighs> Skank! How about if I sell you to slavers or get more? I'll cut your fucking balls off and sell those. Cut your own balls off, hag. Fuck you, I'm crashing from the shit already. Give me that last fucking jatter off. Ooh, fuck, look. Stop screwing around, slam pig. I'm serious. Ass fucking needle dick. Pay a fucking attention. Look out the fucking window. We got a chem money walking right at us. Ooh, a little girl. Caps galore. Hey, wake up, Slasher. Guess this fucktard is passed out again. Fine, I'm taking his revolver. He's sleeping with it up his stupid ass anyway. Well, my wife is running there. I'll have him slide when you're standing when you're busy. Well, well, what do we have here? Lost little girl? Looks like we got ourselves a nice commodity to the slave trade. How much do you think they want for the girl? Whoa, um, wait a minute. Uh, I don't want to get in any trouble now. Oh, that's okay. We don't either. That's why you're going to come quietly with us. Or you're going to get skinned. Why, you disrespectful little brat! You think this is a game, huh? I'll show you. <clears throat> Look behind you. What? Ha! They're peeing themselves. You have my bar gun. What? Uh, yeah, no problem. Don't kill us. Okay, yeah, just uh, don't kill us. We're sorry. We're gonna be going now, okay? Thanks, Meanie. Don't mention it. Let's move on.
I think the sun will be going down soon. Do you think we could find a place to sleep? Oh, we'll run back the hills. Don't turn around like a little before. Hmm. I don't think we've ever met before. I never met a super mutant, but I heard of them. Was she a friend of yours? Don't remember. But don't truck. I didn't bite the wind in. No, my mom got me this a few years ago. Well, hopefully you can remember. If there's something I could do to help you remember, I would. Don't remember. Don't mention it. And this is my friend. Mean son of a bitch. I know you. What are you doing out here? Where's Klamath Bob? Huh? Do I know you? Oh, I'm quite a little time before. Long ago. It's me, Cannibal Johnson. I used to work with Judith Brady. Remnants, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. Where did you go? Huh, well, we had to split up after we helped NCR hold that dam. You know that big battle against the Legion just a few days back? We helped the NCR in the cover of drive that Legion back, and it was one hell of a show. I even seen this huge flying bomber dropping explosives on them. Um, well, anyways, I was on my way to an old bunker I used to stay in. Gotta restock on those supplies and then rendezvous with the rest of the remnants. It's hoping to find parts for my dinged up power up. Piece of junk. Bunker just a couple miles that way. Should be still some food and water there. Looks like you two could use some. Thanks, Mr. Cannibal. Why do they call you Cannibal? Huh, that's kind of a long explanation, Missy. Let's head out before more of those nasty critters come looking for their friends. We're on the edge of Deathclaw country. We best keep moving, and yeah, I'll tell you why they call me Cannibal along the way. What happened, Becky? I had to act like cannibal to scare the wits out of those raiders that come to me back in the day. Haha. <laughs> I see. So it's Meanie now, eh? That's funny. <laughs> so what's happening to Bob? Oh, dead and rambling. Get him, okay? He told me to run away from that and made to jump and took him out of him. Yeah, and that they did. NCR, Annex New Vegas, and just about all of the Mojave. 
They beat back the Legion with the help of a mysterious courier who gave the NCR all this technological assistance. Between that and taking back all their money that the late Mr. House stole from them, the Republic became real powerful. Yeah, the Legion killed my parents and burned my village. Those sick bastards! Yeah, the Legion made a scorched earth policy when they retreated. They killed and burned anyone who got in their path. The NCR has been capturing or killing the stray legionaries. You have my condolences, Becky. Thank you. Okay, let's stop here. We turn left here and go over the hills and we should be close to it. We'll get a good view of it from the cliffs. But let's steer clear of this town. Why? It's radioactive. Oh. Okay, we're almost there. Just a look over this side and... Oh, no! It can't be! Any luck, Doc? Huh? Oh. Well, looks like we'll get that door open in the morning. Seems like the door code runs off a simple binary code, but it has an operating system attached to it. I've never seen a passcode that ran off of... Shit. Even running code by binary and normal distributions of through a standard deviation of ELIPS probabilities, I... How about giving it to me in plain English? Okay. It's a bitch. And I know this code will be cracked in about four hours, and then you and your men get to play in a vault. Hey. You know that dead alien back at the other vault had extra sex organs underneath its armpits? Ew, really? Pardon me, Dr. Hudson? Hmm? Yeah? We're getting reports on a weather front heading this way. It has some really unusual readings, though. Really? What kind? Sensor posts replaced in the hills indicates high levels of radiation. Radiation storm? You're serious. This is the Mojave, Doc. Get used to it. This isn't the paradise of shady sands, you know. Do we have any protective gear? Well, no. We weren't expecting that until tomorrow's airdrop. We're fucked if we stay. You're fucking kidding me. Oh, no way. We gotta evacuate the base, Major. The readings I'm getting on her terminal? Well, I'll be walking fucking nightlights by the time that shitstorm passes. How long we got? According to my sensors, 15 minutes. Get everyone evacuated immediately. I already have the automated turrets set up. Unfortunately, we have no time to set up the landmines. Let's evacuate then. We'll make a pass at Science Outpost 6 to grab some radiation equipment when the storm passes. Shit. All right, we'll return to the airport when the storm is over. Let's get out of here now. Oh no! They're coming after us! I don't think so, but they're all even kicked. Why? They're all scared of us. <laughs> Something's got them all riled up and running off. Wonder why they're leaving. Maybe they looted the bunker or something. Well, that would suck. Don't run to come to play. What? Oh shit! That's a radiation storm. You might be okay with it, my big green friend, but the rest of us would drop dead from that. Oh my god, what do we do? There's a secret entrance just down the hill. Get your ass in gear!
Get them there, mutant muscles over here, green guy. Give me a hand. about this place, Cannibal. Huh. Well, Missy, I used to work here many years ago. It used to be an advanced research book. I used to got the place when I was in the army. Oh! Why did they leave it empty of people? They had no choice, Becky. The Enclave used to own this place, and when we evacuated Navarro, Dr. Autumn and his troops came here to supply themselves before they went east to escape the NCI. Wow. So some of us stayed here while the Enclave moved out east. Some remain, though, but are not likely alive or just deserted like the rest of us did. Some of us weren't proud of being on, in the Enclave, and we deserted them once they went into Anarchy. They did some rather mean things to people in the past. <laughs> what? Oh shit! Sentry turrets got activated. Scat! Turn them back on. 
purified water. Neat. I found this at the next game. Yum. We may as well make another water stop. Could be more of it. Huh? Ah. Uh. Hey! Move on, move on, move on! Heh heh heh! Don't my phone, go! <laughs> I've never been in this part of the vault. I've never had clearance to walk through here. This is supposed to be a secret lab for the Enclave. They use this place for a brief time after running from the NCR. They grabbed tons of supplies. Then they went to DC. Well, some of us had the opportunity to desert the Arkley. We didn't follow them when they evacuated us. I heard people in my village say the name before, but I don't know who they are. Bad people! Yep, they've done terrible things to people. But they were the descendants of the elite of the U.S. government before the Great War 27-7. A few decades back, they stormed California, kidnapping and killing people, retake America, exterminating anyone who was not pure strain, Anyone who was thought to be less than their standard, treated very badly. Oh my god. And these people still around? Well, no, not really. The NCI destroyed the Enclave and the survivors scattered to find the refuge. The only ones I know that are still around is my old squad. Well, 
to stop this. Did you call me? No, no, a friend. He's in the reactor. 
with the Death Claw. The door is locked. I can't get inside. There's a monster right over there. to the radiation from this room and the monitor says that the reactor is damaged. I'm afraid your friend is dead. No he's not! No he's not! Get him out! Looks like he's pushing daisies, Becky. If either one of us goes in there, we'll be dead too. Too much going on. I'm sorry. That super mutant is gone. Stimpak can't cure. Appears your friend already had regenerative abilities, but the reactor accelerated it. The people that own this place installed an alien healing arc in the reactor. 
Uh, I think to increase energy output. I'm sorry for causing you all this trouble. I thought you were dangerous raiders. Or those control freak NCR people. You mean to tell me you're the one that sent those robots and death claws after us? Yes, but when I seen the little girl on the monitor, hey, I may be a lot of things to people, but child killer is not one of them. I'm sorry. He asked what you were doing here. Nini, wait. Your voice. You can talk normal now. What? My tongue. I can feel it again. Must have been the reactor Bob was mentioning. What? My tongue. Part of it was snipped off when the NCR tortured me. But I can talk again. And I remember who I was now. Jimmy. Jimmy Bowen. You remember now? Yes, Becky. And Becky was the name of my sister. I used to live in Vault 17 when I was 10. Then we got captured by super mutants. Bowen, you said? Wait. I know a Lily Bowen in Jacobstown. But I don't know if... Lily? That was in the name of my grandmother. Are you saying she's alive? Yeah, in Jacobstown. My friend Dr. Henry works there. He's an enclave rep, just like me. Jacobstown is a super mutant sanctuary. Doc Henry is making a cure for Nightgun Schizophrenia. That's where I was going, to meet up with the remnants once I got supplies from here. This is really touching, guys, but let's go to the control room and check on that radiation storm. We have to get out of here first. And you? How'd you survive all that radiation in the reactor room? You didn't even have on a fireman suit. Alright, I'll tell you. I'm an android. A machine. I pass for a human. And I'm from the Institute. It's in the Commonwealth, in Boston. I was programmed to seek out alien and advanced technology in the United States. The Institute even programmed my voice to sound like a former American president. And damn, I hate it. Android? Like a robot? You're really a toaster? Ah, that's funny, kid. Look, I'm going to check on that storm, and then we can all get out of here. You can go find Jacobstown, but I'm heading back to Boston. Well, the good news is that the storm has passed through, and... Radiation levels are safe. Oh shit. But the NCR came back and they know someone left the door unlocked. Okay men, keep together and let's find the control room to this place. Take him down! Come on! Get some! You like that? The NCR is busy fighting those death claws, but they are armed to the teeth. We gotta find a way past them. If not, I know where the armory is. Yeah, I do too. I also know a secret escape out of here. Huh? Where? Would you believe in the armory? I know the password to it, from when I assisted Dr. Armour to evacuate the station. Well then, let's get the hell out of... Warning reactor core overload in progress. Oh, great! Reactor core meltdown imminent. Time to reach minimum safe distance is 15 minutes. Everyone retreat. Contact Dr. Hudson and tell him the situation and we're evacuating Searchlight Airport. Again.
The Enclave actually left a vertebrate here? Sure, they had their own when they occupied this place. Only problem is, I don't know how to fly it. You don't, but I do. You don't say. If you can get the rooftop access doors open, we're out of here. Yeah! Yes, Sir General Oliver. We're almost clear from the base. We had a saboteur break in and set off the reactor. We still don't know who caused it, but if I do, they will hang for this. Everyone here doing fine? Doing good here, Bob! Jimmy's new regenerative abilities, it would accelerate the cure to Nightkin Schizophrenia. Hmm, looks like mean son of a bitch is about to meet his grandma for the first time in over a hundred years. Lily, we found your grandson, Jimmy. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. I have wandered many places, but they're all the same to me. 